Hey, this is Mark from Mark Vlogs Watches with a fireside chat and an unboxing. Today is actually a fairly exciting day for me, um, but before we go much further, let's go ahead and do a quick wristwatch check. It's a Seiko Monster, guys. The orange one with the black bezel. Okay, so why is it such an exciting day? Well, way back in March, gosh, what is that, like six months ago? It's March, April, May, June, July, August, September. Six months. Do you see how I'm, I'm good with math? <laughs> as long as it doesn't exceed 10. Um, anyway, um, way back in March, I pre-ordered this ball watch, and now it's here. So you, me, this box, and this paring knife are gonna have a field day. We're gonna unbox this watch, take a quick look around at it, but I'm, uh, I'm super stoked. I mean, I'm like a little kid with watches. I, I don't know about you, but I'm like a little kid. When it's new watch day, I'm, uh, I'm like at the door every 10 seconds. Now, what I did this time was, uh, well, I got time, I don't know about you, but again, I get crazy around new watch day. And so um, I have had one too many occasions where even if I was home, I got the damn note from UPS or FedEx or you, you know, whoever it was saying, sorry, we missed you. Really? Did you even knock? You know? So I've had that so many times that I went and I took a, um, a box at the UPS store because, you know, things often come UPS or FedEx and they sign for it. They're there. They send me a text or a message when, you know, when they get whatever it is. And um, so today... Um, I, I knew from UPS that this thing was on its way and that it would be delivered theoretically today. But I also know that on Saturdays, the UPS store closes at three and I thought, holy cow, I'm gonna miss it. Plus this is a holiday weekend with Labor Day. Um, and I thought I'm gonna miss it and then I'm gonna have to wait until Tuesday, which would you know, practically kill me. And it defeats the whole purpose of paying a couple hundred dollars a year to have this box at the UPS store. So I called them and said, I know that your truck isn't there yet, but when does it get there? Does it come before you close at three? And they said, yeah, it usually comes right before, right before closing. So I'm in the parking lot at quarter till closing time. And when I saw that UPS truck pull up around back, you know, I'm like flying in the front door before they can lock me out. And, and, and I got my box. So it's a happy day. Well, we're gonna take a look at this and, uh, and you know, give me a second to prepare and turn the camera around and let's take a look at what's in the box. Okay guys, here we are all set up to open this puppy and take a look at the ball watch that is inside. Let's get to business. This is part of my EDC. I don't know about you. This watch was um, shipped from Ball Watch in Switzerland to Ball Watch USA in St. Petersburg, Florida, where they broke apart that shipment and prepared the individual watches to go to their, their proper home. Some outside paper. And then uh, I feel the outside the outer box. I can't stop hitting that camera, can I? So let's get rid of that. And we have an outer box. The inner box here feels to be like thick cardboard. Kind of an offshoot of that Rolex green, right? Stand by, don't go anywhere. I'm gonna make a little more light. Okay, that's a little better, guys. A little more natural light. And let's go ahead and get the cardboard shell off. See what we've got here. We've got the invoice. If you want to send me anything, here's where you can send it. And that's what I'm talking about. Having a, a suite at the, that's actually a, you know, a box at the uh, UPS store. Don't send anthrax, guys, but send presents. If you have a, a t-shirt from your company, a mug, anything cool, size large on the t-shirt, 
here is the uh, oh and I, I they never I didn't know what number I was getting it's a limited edition I mean <laughs> which is kind of baloney because all ball watches come with this limited edition thing but I've got 107 out of a thousand so that's nice it's kind of early on okay we're getting on towards the moment of truth here the box is nice uh, for a cardboard box Slightly smushed on the corner there, but to be quite honest with you, although I really like having the box and papers, I'm not especially concerned with um, sniffing and licking my boxes. Now the inner box, ooh, that looks like a drawer that's gonna pull out. The inner box looks nice. Nicer even than the outer. Let me get it out of there. Okay, so now we have the, the inner box. This has a completely different feel. I want to say it's still cardboard, but it sort of has a vinyl covering on it, I think. Let me sniff it. Yes, that has the distinctive smell of, of leather that was manufactured in a chemical company. So I don't think any cows died for this. However, it's uh, certainly upgradier than is the, um, than is the you know, a cardboard box. And that's deeply imprinted. Okay. Let's pull the sucker open. Ooh, this is my first glimpse of a watch that I have been... Well, you know how it is when you're waiting on a new watch, guys. You tend to, like, dream about it and, you know, get stupid in terms of thinking about it. Okay, so that's empty. We're going to set it aside. Here we have the warranty card. Quick look at this here. You got the reference and the serial number. And this is a proper thick plastic warranty card. In fact, looks like there's two of them in there. Yeah, I don't know quite why there's two, but one is the limited edition certificate, I guess, and one is the warranty card. Okay, now as for the watch itself, it's Nestled on a pillow wrapped in plastic. Ooh, it's exciting. I mean, you know, Ball is not like the finest watch made in the world. It's owned by a, a Chinese uh, consortium based in Hong Kong, based off of an old American brand. But it is manufactured in Switzerland as much as anything is these days. And um, these are tough purpose-built watches. Okay, So this guy has the blue dial. It is very well wrapped up in plastic. I'm gonna unwrap it, we'll take a quick look around it. And um, then I'll throw together a wrist shot or two, which I will inset into this video. All right, unwrapping plastic. What we have here is a Master Engineer 2 Diving World Time. And you, those Arabics and pretty much everything that you see there in the way of a number or, a, uh, or an hour marker, baton, and the hands have little tiny tritium tubes, so these things are, are gonna glow at night. Of course, I'll do a review of this um, later to give you a much better look at the watch, and um, I'll do a loom shot on that review. But you can see that it has the day, the date. This crown up moves that rotatable in inner dive bezel, which also contains the cities for the world time feature. And then you see the, the white ring here connected to the black ring there. That's all one ring, which shows the time in all the various cities in, in 24 hour time. Now I still, I've got a hang tag to get off. And you know, just like you as a weirdo, as a watch weirdo, um, I collect all this stuff. So not one scrap of this, not even the wrapping paper is gonna get thrown out. Um, if I ever decide to part with this thing, then the next guy can have all a little accoutrement. Um, I'll tell you what, Ball makes some very impressive bracelets. I have um, a Ball diving chronograph, and um, the bracelet is terrific. Although I think I'm going to like this clasp better than that one because that clasp is really big. All right, this is going to take me a minute to figure out how to there we go, how to get the wrapping off. Okay, really, really nice 
bracelets and they are done up with um, with screws as you can see there all right almost done unwrapping this baby boy they're taking no chances there all right I'm gonna turn this camera off because it's gonna take me a minute to unwrap all this see you back here in a second and then we'll we'll talk about that display back in a minute well, that sucker was uh, stupendously well wrapped, but I managed to get it uh, taken apart. The bracelet, it nearly fits me. I think I'm gonna have to take out one link. The clasp is excellent. The bracelet feels terrific. Really thick milled clasp, as you can see here, with a double deployant. Satisfying little close. It's, um, it's a weird case back. Um, that is a diver free diving wearing a monofin. That's what that is, and I'll throw a picture up here of who that's based on, but there is a, a brand ambassador who holds the world record for uh, free diving, and that is diving with no scuba equipment, um, meaning you know you, no air supply. You just go down on your own, and that guy has, holds the world record at not quite, but almost 125 meters. Here is brand ambassador for ball, Guillaume Nery holding onto his monofin, which is what is depicted on the case back of this watch. Uh, this watch, upside down, this watch is good to, um, I want to say, 300 meters. So real quick, um, just a quick tour around the watch, and then we will end this unboxing video. This watch has world time function, but it's also a diver. So if I unscrew this screw down crown, it pops open, boink, and then um, it's unidirectional because once I set it, I'm going to lock it down. It won't move. And um, now I can use it to uh, time to a reference point that I want to wait to. Or um, if I want to use it as a diver, I would set it to equal where the minute hand was, lock it back down. Now it's secure. And I know when I've passed 5 minutes, 10 minutes, 15 minutes, etc. So I know what my air supply is. Just like you, I use these guys for timing steaks on the grill, you know, that kind of stuff, meetings, phone calls, work projects. That's what I do with a dive bezel. But it's the best fidget spinner in the whole world, and here I get a crown to play with that won't affect the time. Now, you have to pick whether you're going to use this at any given moment for the world time function or for the, the timer dive bezel function. <coughs> in the review... I will talk about how to set your city at 12 o'clock, and then you'll be able to read the world, various world time zones in 24 hour time. So we will take a look at that in the review video, which is coming. But for the moment, I'm just going to pull out the, unscrew the, the traditional standard crown, and that's now in the winding position. This is a highly modified ETA movement with Ball's own module for uh, the world time added. And um, Ball makes some of the only, if not the only, diving world timers with a rotating bezel and the day as well as the date complication. So pulling out to the second position, what am I changing here? I'm changing my date by turning upward and by turning downward, I'm changing my day. You can see it's uh, bilingual. I believe it's, uh, it's either French or Spanish. I think Spanish. I'll know when, yeah, I want to say it's Spanish. And then pulling out another position, I'm changing the time as well as the, um, the rotating discs. Okay, guys, that's all we really need to do for now. As uh, I will be making a second video to review this puppy. But um, I hope you've enjoyed the unboxing. I enjoyed sharing it with you. For me, it's a kind of exciting day. I think I'm really going to enjoy this watch. Hey, do me a favor. Please like and subscribe. That really helps me a lot, and I'll tell you why. Because otherwise, I feel like I'm talking into a cave. <laughs> you know, like there's nobody here. And if you're with me on this journey, um, watching my videos, then please leave me a comment. What do you think of this watch? I know it's not a super fancy brand, but nonetheless, what do you think, guys? Like and subscribe, Goldberg out. Paint the sky your favorite color.
color. 